Hey, I'm Nick Catholic Gamer, and welcome to a Pro Cycling Manager 2025 feature request video featuring you, the viewers. This is the viewer request video, top 10 new features you'd like to see coming to Pro Cycling Manager in the next edition or in the near future. Beginning at number 10, Facilities Evolution. Facilities were a new feature brought in PCM24. In fact, it appeared on this very list in the past. But some of you would like to see them take it to another level. Now that it's been introduced with more time, it can be developed further and have more of an impact on what happens over the course of a season, even if in just minor ways or in economic ways in particular. Coming in at number nine is an end to database bloating. In this game, databases have a tendency to, over the course of a handful of years, scale up and you get lots of six star talents you get tons of five and a half star talents and you get so much quality that it gets harder and harder and harder just to make the world tour year by year by year so it would be really nice to see the database balanced on a more regular basis uh, the most recent patch for the game actually attempted to at least limit the quantity of the database it'd be nice to also have that quality limited and number eight is an equipment revamp this is the same one that appeared on my honorable mentions list and there is definitely some overlap between these uh, but it would be nice to see the equipment more meaningful more uh, containing more information how does it actually impact anything besides just simple star ratings and number seven is to make hills tougher specifically for sprinters as it stands right now uh, except for the very long ones that are borderline medium mountains most of the hills in the game are very very easy for sprinters to make it over and make it and still compete and you'll very often see sprinters win punchy stages and while it happens in real life a little bit it's really those crossover riders who are capable of both and not just pure sprinters but in the game often pure sprinters can take wins in stages that don't fit their profile number six dynamic nations currently they can go up but they never go down uh, nations when you're building a nation because everything goes up it adds to that bloating of the database it would be really nice to have nations struggle writers retire and those nations might not perform as well and it would be nice to see their training or popularity ratings decrease over time number five more realistic start lists for races right now start lists often have the best riders showing up to races that don't generally have the best riders in real life showing up to and you end up with very busy calendars for these lead riders instead of the B squad guys coming out and getting their time to shine. Number four, which was also high up on my own list, uh, was the level up email notifications. It'd be really nice to know when your writers develop. And a simple email notification from one of the trainers on your squad letting you know that so and so is doing well in training would be a real easy way to give us a clue that, oh, by the way, this writer just leveled up. At number three, the opportunity to decline national team positions. So at the beginning of the year, you always get an email notification that you are taking over such and such national team for the coming year. Sometimes that's an opportunity that players don't want at all or that particular nation. So the opportunity to decline and maybe select another or just decline altogether uh, would be a good option and a number of players would prefer that. Up to number two, and these top two were real clear favorites amongst the viewership, by the way. Thank you, viewers, for your uh, time and effort to leave these comments and the requests that you would like to see, but also the time to vote on which ones you prefer and with a very clear top two. At number two is recruit 16 and 17 year old riders to your development team. Right now they are scoutable only 
what's the purpose of having them there? It'd be really nice if you could get them onto your development team. You might not be able to sign them to the team proper until they reach 18, can't sign that professional contract, fine, no problem. But you should be able to store them away on your development team and help them progress over those couple years. And it's a lot easier to keep an eye on them. And it makes it more relevant to actually scout anything beyond just the 18 year olds or, you know, 17 year olds from the beginning of that year that you know will be signable at the end of the year. And finally, at number one, a promotion relegation system based on performance, not on popularity. That would be wonderful to see and the real world has shifted to that anyway doesn't need to be a three-year cycle necessarily but just simply based on performance if you outscore the other teams you should be moving up that's going to do it for this viewer request video thank you for tuning in i'm decathlon gaber like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now